Here's what the prosecutor said after working all these years towards this case and wanted a death penalty. Rob Wood and Lindsay Blake saying, well, we're disappointed and respectfully disagree with today's decision. We will continue to vigorously pursue justice for Tammy, Ty Lee, and JJ. I want to bring in Kay and Larry Woodcock. They are the grandparents of JJ Vallow. Kay's brother, Charles, married Lori, and the two of them, the couple adopted JJ from Kay's daughter. And Kay and Larry had been grandparents to both JJ and his sister, Ty Lee, and they endured the unimaginable additional tragedy when Lori was charged in the death of Kay's brother, Charles. They plan to be in court every day when Lori's trial begins in less than two weeks, and they are live with me for this News Nation exclusive. Larry and Kay, first and foremost, I am sorry that you received this news today because I know it wasn't news that you wanted to hear. I wanted to get your initial reaction to the judge's decision to take the death penalty off the table. Today's news was from left field. We had no idea that it was, he was going to dismiss the death penalty from our, it, it's, uh, we're just reeling from the news, and um, it, it's been a very long, hard day, but it is what it is. We're on a roller coaster. We've been on a roller coaster for going on four years now, and so, again, the ride continues whether or not we like it because we're stuck on it and we cannot get off. So, Larry, the prosecutors, I just read the, the statement Rob Wood and Lindsay Blake put out. They were disappointed as well. Um, and I'm hoping that they have treated you well um, and that there's been good victims advocacy and that they have guided you through this process and at least helped you to get the news before it became, you know, public knowledge to the rest of us. Is there, is there any solace that can be found in this? Is there any silver lining, given that sometimes it's easier to get convictions when the death penalty isn't there than when it is. And I bring up Casey Anthony all the time. Casey Anthony got out and she murdered her daughter. And Lori, maybe she wasn't there when Alex killed everybody, but she conspired, Chad conspired, and it was like she did it with her own hands. She killed everybody. Tammy, JJ, and Tylee, all three, she was involved in, just like she was involved in the conspiracy to kill, to murder Charles. But we're going to put that aside till after she's done in Idaho, then hopefully they'll, they'll get her down in Arizona and take care of her there too. So the idea that, um, you know, it, it is strange. First of all, having female defendants of a triple murder is so incredibly rare. Uh, finding death qualified jurors is also really hard. And then finding jurors who actually convict and agree to vote for, for, for a death penalty against a woman is extremely hard. Again, the Casey Anthony thing, many of the jurors struggled with that. Um, if, if putting the death penalty aside and, and taking it off the table might actually make convicting her easier. Larry, do you think there's a, a, a silver lining there or at least something that can be salvaged in terms of justice for you? No. You know, th this boils down, Ashley, to people were murdered. I lost a grandson. I lost a granddaughter. I lost a brother-in-law. And God, I pray for everybody every night involved in this case. Tammy was a tragedy. Tammy was, it was all of these murders are just totally unjustified. I've had a horrible day today. We woke up to this this morning. My day has been troublesome all throughout the day. Thank God that we have the support that we have. The so many texts, so many emails, so many, so much from so many people supporting us. 
I, I'm, there has been nobody more supportive of voice than I have. And I'm going to state this right now. I know I no longer consider voice a judge. From this point on, I will not refer to him as a judge. This is my belief now. I think he has made bad calls. Do I think there may have been some things that could have done, been done different? Yeah, I do. This ruling that he handed out today is an insult to JJ. It's an insult to Tylee. It's an insult to Charles. And it's an insult to Tammy. It's a slap in the face to our family. And I, I think this ruling should do an interlocutory appeal tomorrow. I think the fact that Judge Boyce is not allowing cameras in this court, I have said it before, is wrong. If they allow cameras in the Supreme Court <clears throat> down to the traffic court, then why isn't he allowing courts, cameras in the courts now? Is it because he's getting pressured? If so, who is he getting pressured by? Is this being pressured from the church? Is this being pressured? I don't think it's from the state. And I am telling you, I'm on TV right now asking Mr. Attorney General of Idaho, please review these rulings. Mr. Supreme Court Justices and Mrs. Supreme Court Justices, please review this. And whoever nominated Boyce at this point to be a judge or to get down on his knees and ask forgiveness. Am I mad? I am beyond mad. Am I upset? You better believe I'm upset. This is Larry. wrong. Larry, I am so sorry for what you and Kay are dealing with, not just today, but for, like you said, four years. Um, I wish you peace and strength, and I know this is going to be a really hard two weeks because I know you're both headed up there to Idaho to be in that courtroom front and center and let them know that there are other victims, you know, in this case. Um, thank you. Thank you both. Kay, thank you. Larry, thank you. And let's stay in touch on this.